A new hazing case has surfaced involving Florida A&M University's famous marching band three weeks after hazing allegedly led to a drum major's death. Last night, three students were arrested and charged in connection with the beating of a young woman. Anna Werner has more. Investigators say it was a brutal hazing ritual. Three members of the famed Marching 100 band allegedly beat a female bandmate with their fists and a metal ruler to initiate the freshmen into a secret organization called the Red Dog Order. The beatings were so severe, they broke the victim's thigh bone. If the students who I suspended from the band had been terminated from the university, or suspended from the university, it may have sent a strong message. A little over a week later, band director Dr. Julian White suspended 26 band members for their suspected involvement in that beating and one other. And he alerted administrators about those hazing incidents before the band left for its biggest performance of the year, the Florida Classic in Orlando. White says school administrators failed to discipline students any further. Did I make those recommendations? Yes, I did. Were they followed? For the most part, no. On November 19th, hours after that performance, drum major Robert Champion was found unresponsive on a band bus. He later died, and investigators believe hazing was involved. His death and now the arrests have exposed a hazing culture that has haunted Florida A&M for over a decade. The school has suspended performances by the Marching 100 indefinitely. And last week, the Board of Trustees reprimanded University President James Ammons for his handling of the crisis. Police are continuing their investigations into the alleged hazing incidents, and the state's university system has called for a special investigation into actions taken by the university. Anna Werner, CBS News, Atlanta.